hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome to my autumn winter wardrobe switchover video So if you have watched my channel for a little while, you will know that I do these videos twice a year. Normally I do this kind of midway through October. It's currently the end of September and I am bringing in my autumn winter pieces. I have quite big wardrobe space in my bedroom, but I don't have sort of my own walk-in wardrobe or dressing room one day i will so yeah i pack away all of my spring summer stuff which i think a lot of people do so today is the big switch over day this normally takes me a whole day to do because i simultaneously have a little bit of a clear out as well it's just a really good time to look through everything and decide whether i want it or not so i've already started doing that um if you guys don't know then i sell my clothes on ebloggers so if you want anything that you see in this video today or you want anything that you've seen that i posted before always check out ebloggers I will leave that website linked down below um, but that is where all of my clothes to I don't sell on Depop anymore because I hate Depop it's so infuriating I find people so rude on there not everyone but a lot of people are really really rude but I send parcels and they just get lost um, and that's happened like two or three times and yeah I just can't be dealing with it anymore so ebloggers is the place to go um, if you want something that I mentioned in this video and it's not on there maybe wait because obviously this stuff will have to be picked up and then uploaded to the website so it may take a few weeks if it has been a few weeks and nothing is on the eblogger site then just drop me a message and I might have decided not to sell it or I might just have forgotten it and I can sell it to you privately so I have just finished editing my wardrobe my wardrobe my bedroom kind of refresh refresh video where i have made a few changes to my bedroom you can see them here um, so it's looking a bit different but one thing that hasn't changed is my wardrobe so this is my wardrobe quite lucky to have a double wardrobe space um and it's very messy at the moment i've sort of put off tidying it and neatening it because i knew that i was going to be doing this soon so to be honest i don't have that many summer clothes in here these are all like new bits that i've kept near the front shirts and then there, there was a lot of knitwear and jumpers that i kept in my wardrobe throughout the summer because you just never know in this country and let's face it we didn't really have a summer this year so i'm glad that i had all that stuff in there shoes down below are a nightmare i really need to go through these um because i've literally the past few days especially i've just been sort of chucking stuff in it's so bad so yeah this really needs a freshen up and then in this side trousers blazers and then a few coats that i kept out from last year um, so basically this is pretty much an autumn winter wardrobe already i've got a few skirts and shorts and stuff here which i will pack away i am actually going on holiday in october so i do need to keep a few bits out i have being the organized person that i am already planned my outfits so i know exactly what i'm going to be taking with me so i know that i can just leave that out kind of in a separate drawer so literally it's just ready to go straight in the suitcase and then obviously I can pack it away afterwards. But if we come over here, these are the bags that are already going to eBloggers. So, so much stuff in there already. I've got another one to fill up as well. And then these boxes here are my autumn winter clothes and shoes as well. And there's some other shoes in there that I just don't keep out but I don't want to throw away. So as you can see, I've been keeping my clothes in these vacuum bags they are so ridiculously handy i actually couldn't store my clothes without them so i put them in these vacuum bags and then i put them in boxes just to keep them safe especially for coats and stuff as well these are brilliant because obviously coats take up a lot of room um, especially when you're folding them i'd have to probably have about like 20 of these boxes to fit all my huge coats so it's a really great space saving idea um so yeah along with the wardrobe space obviously i have this chest of drawers which has got a few bits of clothing in here this needs a tidy gosh um so this is just basically kind of tops like vest tops thinner tops bralettes body suits all that sort of stuff which i keep all together folded because they're just they're too sort of like thin to be hung up so that is that and then in here as well are my jeans which apart from this pair are not looking too bad because I don't wear jeans that much anymore so that is not going to take too long here on my rail we have some new in pieces um these are fabulous by the way these bits these are from the um georgina lennon fourth and reckless um collection fantastic fantastic collection i love it these trousers are insane gorgeous navy coat and then this kind of like 
beautiful forest green trousers and shirt set. So I just sort of hang up any new in pieces on this rail before I pack them away or if I need to shoot them. In this drawer is basically shorts, um, joggers and kind of like loungewear trousers that aren't part of a set. The bottom here is kind of a miscellaneous drawer. My exercise mat, a few more new in pieces, some system seekers bits there. So that is pretty much it in terms of storage. So the first thing I'm going to do is tackle the wardrobe space. Um, and the best thing I find to do is to get everything out that I don't want in there. I literally just go through one by one and decide, firstly, whether it needs to stay in the wardrobe, whether it needs to be packed away. And secondly, does it need to stay in this house or does it need to go to e-bloggers? Um, most of the stuff in there I think is fairly new, but I have noticed there are a few pieces that... I kept out when I was doing this before and I haven't worn them um, so if that is the case I'm probably most likely going to be sending them to e-bloggers I have to be quite ruthless because I am just constantly living in a state where I have two bags full like this in my bedroom because every time something new comes in something old has to go pretty much obviously my consumption is a little bit abnormal um, mainly just because of the job that I do. I'm very lucky to get sent a lot of things. I am seriously, seriously trying my best to be more conscious about what I purchase myself and what I accept. And I really do rewear a lot of things in my wardrobe. I'm not someone that purchases something um, and only wears it once and then that's it. Very, very rarely do I ever do that. So yeah, most of the pieces in my wardrobe are ones that get worn they have a lot of love and they are classic timeless pieces you guys know what my style is so yeah just a little disclaimer because there are going to be a lot of clothes flying about in this video and yeah i don't want you guys to think that i don't care about my overwhelming consumption because i am very aware of it so i am going to pop you guys up here and, and then i'm going to sort through my wardrobe so what i actually like to do is to get everything out of the wardrobe as well so as i'm going through it um, obviously e-blogger stuff will go over there. I'll make a separate pile for summer stuff that has been packed away and stuff that I'm going to keep in the wardrobe, I will take out of the wardrobe and place it on the bed if Miss Maple wouldn't mind moving just for five minutes. Um, just so then I can sort of get to the shoes and stuff beneath a bit more easily and then reorganize kind of from scratch. Are you going to help me? And Maple is going to help me, aren't you? It's actually so early in the morning right now. It is, well, it's not so early, but... For me to start this process it's quite early it's nine o'clock and i was up so early this morning because i was trying to get petrol because my car is nearly run out and i'm going to leeds at the weekend so obviously i need like a full tank of petrol to get there and back hopefully um and yeah i went to two petrol stations last night um and they both didn't have any so i got up super early this morning at 6 a.m went to my local petrol station and they were filling up the station with fuel when I was there so I got in the back of the queue and I had to queue for like 20 minutes but I got petrol they had a 15 pound limit oh not saying this to scaremonger or anything by the way um the only reason I was filling up is because I needed I know I needed to get to Leeds but yeah I'm hoping that by the time I put this video out the situation will be sorted and it won't have got worse but yeah that is the reason why I'm up so early because I got back at like 20 to 7 and I was thinking hmm should I go back to bed for like another hour? And then I thought, no, I'm going to get up and I'm going to start my day early. So Mabel had her walk very early, didn't you? So that's why she's so tired. Um, <laughs> on cue, I don't know if you saw that yawn. So yeah, I'm hoping that I'm going to get this done by lunchtime. That would be a miracle. Right, I need to stop chatting and I need to start. So this is the situation so far. I've grouped items into different categories on the bed. So here we have trousers and then one pair of shorts, um, knitwear and jumpers, dresses and then one top here, shirts and then this giant pile over here is like matching sets and cords. Now we can't really fit anything else on the bed so I'm just going to go through, <laughs> hello, I'm just going to go through shoes now because I can kind of get to most of them quite easily. And then once I've done that, everything that's in the wardrobe I am keeping. So I'm then just going to go through the boxes, get everything out, see what I want to keep, see what I don't. And then I will start to pop everything back in. Okay, so shoes are 
done obviously this side is boots and i love doing this because i discover so many pairs of boots that i've just forgotten about like these boots they are so old they need a bit of a clean but i've honestly had these for about maybe four years and i still love them they're so comfortable just a really lovely classic boot these ones as well i've honestly had for about three or four years just a lovely kind of military boot also discovered these which i completely forgot about just some sort of over the knee skin tight stiletto boots and i've just ordered a pair from zara which were not cheap i think they're about 90 pounds and i discovered these ones which i got from ego last year which have hardly been worn so i thought that's brilliant i can send those new zara ones back because i've already got a pair here now this doesn't look the neatest but at least everything is in its own place um so many great pairs here that i actually just can't wait to wear particularly these beautiful brown suede boots i got last year from zara let me get one out to show you I lived in them. Lovely chunky heel. These are just gorgeous. So comfortable. Um, another one that I'd just completely forgotten about. Also done this side as well. You can't really see. But that is heels and trainers. And then this side is just boots. So now these are my summer bits. Um, summer shoes that I'm going to pack away. They're going to go in this box here. Um, some of them obviously I will be taking on holiday. So I'm just going to leave this box kind of easy access to get to. Um, because I don't really want them out. I don't think I'm going to wear them now. It's a bit too chilly. Um, but if I do want to then I'll just leave them right at the top so I can get to them easily. The task then is to undo these vacuum bags, get the pieces out, potentially steam a lot of them because I think they're going to be quite creased um, and then look at refilling the wardrobe. So we now have all clothes that need to go into the wardrobe on the bed. Um, packed away my summer stuff and it literally fits into the bag without me vacuuming it and I've still got pretty much a whole box to spare so with these bits that are going to go to e-bloggers I think I'm just going to pack them away as well because there isn't really room in these bags for them getting rid of these trainers by the way they're going to e-bloggers I love them I just have um, the New Balance 180 I think they're called and they're very similar so I don't need them also got a couple of coats big puffer coat here um, a gorgeous teddy coat from Naked and then this beautiful, let me get them out properly so you can see. So yeah, this is the Zara coat, lovely navy one, so smart. I love it, um, I got it for Christmas I think, how many years ago? Maybe like four years ago, maybe five years ago. Um, and it's beautiful, it was really expensive but I just don't wear it anymore. It's one of those coats that I want to keep for like a special occasion. And I know I've done that like the last three or four years and I just haven't worn it. Not three or four years, years maybe like one or two years. Um, yeah, and I've just not worn it. So yeah, I think it's time for this one to go. This is just a regular puffer. Obviously it's a bit creased now because it's just come out of the vacuum bag. But it's this really nice kind of beige colour. Um, I use this for dog walking but I've already got a couple of like quilted puffer kind of coats. So I don't really need another one. Um, even at the time when I bought this, I was like, I don't really know why I bought it. Um, and then this one, which I love from Naked, but it's just too similar. I've got two coats of very similar colour. Um, so I'm going to get rid of this one because it's a little bit too big for me anyway. But it's beautiful. It's got these gorgeous tortoise shell buttons. It's still got the label on it, but I have worn it. But yeah, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous coat. Really nice. So those three will be going to eBloggers at some point soon so yeah next job on the agenda is to go through everything that is on the bed and get it into some kind of nice neat order and start popping it away into the wardrobe so everything is in the wardrobe looking quite neat it's super super full though um, obviously winter stuff is a lot thicker and takes up so much more room than like thinner lighter summer clothes so my wardrobe is completely full which it normally isn't normally there's a little gap at the end which i've got for new pieces um, i'm just going through my chest of drawers now um, i'm gonna see if there's anything that i need to um, get rid of from here and then i'm just gonna tidy it up as well So 
so I've just popped away the boxes with all my summer clothes in and I've taken out the e-bloggers bags and I think I'm done. So I will just show you the finished product. So this is what my wardrobe is looking like now. Very, very full. I don't think it's ever been this full before. But like I said, half of this side pretty much is just blazers and coats and sort of thick jackets. And then this side is just pretty much a knitwear. So it's a lot of heavy, thick clothes. Look at Maple. Hello. Very sleepy this morning after your walk, aren't you? Right. Okay, I just need to move you, thank you. So we have lots of spare hangers at the end here, which is fab. Um, these are the ones that I have been using. You've probably seen them. They're just kind of like, almost like a felt material. Um, they're okay, they do break quite easily. You can see this one. I tried to sell it back together, I'll probably just get rid of that. But yeah, they do break quite easily. So not great really for knitwear and stuff. You just have to be quite careful when you're taking things in and out. Uh, and then anything that's slightly heavier, I put on, I have these black wooden hangers here, which are obviously a bit sturdier. I'll link both of the um, hangers below, I just get them from Amazon. But yeah, we have dresses and jumpsuits and stuff to begin with. Um, not very many, just a couple of kind of transitional items here. A few shirts, um, I was thinking about packing away these green ones, but you never know. I might want to continue the green theme into autumn and winter. And then we have a big chunk of knitwear here. These are just knitted jumpers, polo necks, cardigans, that sort of thing. This chunk here is kind of like sweatshirts, jumpers. And then from here to the middle is two pieces. So like jogger sets or loungewear sets. So I've popped them all on the same hanger so that they're kind of easy to find. I would normally wear a set together. I tried to keep the top of these hangers as well as neat and spaced out as possible. But yeah, that never stays how I intend. Obviously shoes that I showed you down below, you can't really see because they're all black boots, um, but they're all nice and neat and tidy. And then if we come over to this side, we have trousers there in the middle. Look at these sparkly numbers. I wore these last Christmas, very, very jazzy. I just thought, I was gonna get rid of them because I thought, when am I gonna wear them? But I thought, you never know when you might need a pair of sparkly trousers. Anyway, we've got normal trousers here and then I've done a section just for leather trousers. So these ones here are all just leather my new leather ones in there as well some leather leggings and then my blazers everything by the way as you can tell just goes from light to dark because i just think it's the easiest way to do things um i know a lot of these blazers are quite light neutral tones but i still wear a white or a beige blazer even in the winter then we have some leathers so leather jackets leather blazer leather look puffers as well and then on to coats i haven't organized the coats in specific type of coat i've just done coats um so we have a couple of trenches at the beginning here a few teddy coats some new quilted coats i've got that i can't wait to show you guys properly and then black coats at the end and then shoes again at the bottom here obviously trainers um not looking as neat as the other side because obviously the coats hang down here so that takes up a bit of room um so i can't put any shoes there which is a bit annoying but oh well. So I can close up the wardrobe now, finally. So I actually hung up all of the new stuff that was on this rail because um, I was fed up of looking at it. But this drawer, I've tidied up a little bit, much less cramped. There's loads of room in the back here. If I do purchase any more kind of loungewear trousers, got rid of a lot of the denim shorts, or not got rid of, packed away a lot of the denim shorts because I thought I'm just not gonna be wearing them. So this is now more of like, cozy loungewear bottoms drawer. And then if we come over here, this is much more organized now. So we've got vest tops, um, light color vest tops, dark color vest tops, um, some different random tops, t-shirts, bodysuits, the whole lot um, in there, which is great. All nicely folded now as well and very easy to get to. And then jeans as well. We lost a couple of pairs along the way. Um, a few going to e-bloggers that I just know I won't wear anymore. But the great thing about this um, drawer is because it, it's so deep, I can actually put more on top if I wanted to as well. And there's a bit more room down the side here if I move them. So that is fabulous. I thought I'd just show you my outfit finally. It's not very exciting, but I've got this gorgeous cardigan on from Pretty Lavish. Crop top is Zara. My trusty... Black Adenola leggings, obviously just Nike socks. 
um, yeah, and that's it. So I'm super pleased with how quick I've been able to do that. Um, I think I'm getting so much better at it now. Um, it's only 11 o'clock, so I did that in an hour and a half, and normally it takes me all day. So I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope it was entertaining for you, um, and maybe inspires you to have a little clear out or whatever. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you subscribed and I will see you all very soon with another video.